not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have made a sports car in England's green and pleasant land. And those who buy Morgan sports cars, well, they are no longer quite as old school as we all once believed. Morgan Motor Company tells us even the old guard owners now demand luxuries. Luxuries such as doors that close without having to slam them, heaters that work, some sort of ride quality, oh and no less than a modern BMW engine with at least 250 brake horsepower. So you may be wondering whatever is the world coming to? Well, why don't you join me, Roger Bailey, to find out what this 2020 Morgan Plus 4 is like. And join me in thanking Morgan Cars of Malvern for loaning us their demonstrator and also the owner of Thornton Manor who has allowed us access to this stately home and wedding venue right here on the Wirral. And part right here is the all new car and yes I'm being serious, this Morgan Plus 4 is new. It may look like almost every other car in Morgan's long and unchanging history, which is a good thing. Yet this is a clean sheet design and every component, bar some of the chrome fittings, are 2020's new. This Morgan is in fact the first of a new breed and is not only based on the company's up-to-the-minute aluminium chassis and BMW Z4 underpinnings, but also sets out to be right for our time and to be the most luxurious Morgan ever made. Replacing the old yet well-regarded steel chassis cars, this new architecture is expected to form most of Morgan's planned output of 900 cars a year when things get back to normal and the company's ambitions are to increase that number to over 1400 over the next five years. Yet a significant question remains. Is this now a reimagined BMW Z4 or is this new plus four a proper Morgan? Well, taking a look inside confirms the unmistakable Morgan look and feel, albeit of a slightly different kind. We feel the accurate closing of this low-cut door and the newfound extra space for one's legs, which allows for sitting back from the steering wheel in proper comfort. Check out the quality of trim, the woven carpets, and taking the smell of all this high-quality leather. You'll find plenty of standard equipment such as power steering, air conditioning, anti-lock brakes and central locking, yet we find airbags and traction controls are yet to make it into the Morgan Odler's world. The modern looking dash, nicely weighted and feeling controls are a substantial improvement over the previous model, so too is the smooth sounding engine and user friendly controls, easy clutch and linear power delivery once we're out on the move. Suspension is a huge improvement over the previous car and now very close to being properly comfortable. Steering's nicely weighted and accurate and if you are a traditional Morgan buyer, I'm happy to report that this could not be further from a BMW in feel. This, ladies and gentlemen, is unmistakably and uniquely a real and proper Morgan. Want to know some quirky details? Well, right, okay. Well, these offset dish wire wheels involved huge amounts of money and engineering to fit modern hubs while maintaining the old Morgan look. The chassis is known as CX as it was launched in the firm's 110th year. It's made from extruded aluminium and carries the all new independent suspension. Aluminium bodywork is of course still all handcrafted and still supported by an ash wood frame which is still hand fabricated on those ancient wooden forming rigs. There remain 70 hand formed louvers in the bonnet, 6 on the sides, 58 on the top and they all miraculously sit in a straight line. 50 pieces of that ash wood make up the frame on which the body panels sit and those wood shavings produced in manufacturing all go into the furnace to heat the factory and it's heat we want to put into those tires because this after all is a sports car which needs driving enthusiastically so guys shall we see how this goes
mustering an impressive 255 brake horsepower the turbocharged bmw unit produces the one ton plus four from zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds and onto a top speed of well given the un aerodynamic shape let's just say its maximum speed is likely to be well let's just say sufficient where the old model would crash through every tiny road imperfection, this new plus four feels far more subtle with modern body sniffers and composure, and our turbocharged engine is completely well mannered, if slightly lacking in some character. Press the sport button and the fueling maps change for added verve, and the exhaust now growls and pops on the overrun. Despite all this modernity, this is still Thankfully, a vintage feeling experience as you stare over that triple wipers windscreen and down those long bonnet louvres while at the same time lining up the nose for that next corner apex. It feels long and narrow and applying a bit of welly into the bend, it's easy and it's fun to adjust its attitude through and out of the corner. My thinking is if we actually had some traction control, I'd be switching it off anyway, just, well, just for the fun of it. The only thing still to be improved are the brakes, which has to be said, do lack a bit of feel and precision. I'd say to those considering taking on an actual old classic car, yet can't face the endless tinkering with grease nipples or don't want to make allowances for patchy reliability, well, really those people should not pass by on this Plus 4's dependability and easily access charms. While Morgan Motor Company are unlikely to see floods of Porsche or BMW owners swapping over anytime soon, what is on offer in bucket loads is entertainment and fun. And anyone with an ounce of motoring nostalgia will be beguiled by this car. Okay, it's probably not refined enough or dynamic enough for some, but if you come at it from the perspective of driving other Morgans, then this new update is a revolution. And whenever you drive or simply look at this classic, charming British sports car, you're on an adventure. An adventure which can make you feel elated, unconventional and perhaps slightly outlandish. Authenticity is the key here. So is this a vintage looking BMW Z4 or an up-to-date Morgan? The company has worked hard to update the Plus 4 and has produced a car so vastly superior to previous versions it's almost unrecognisable. It has up to the minute levels of equipment and comfort, its dynamics and performance are undeniably modern and yet it still looks just like Morgan's of old. And so it seems Morgan have pulled off the trick of melding old with new and in doing so have managed to provide a fun sports car not just for the old guard but also one for today's modern sports car lovers. This is nothing short of a masterful reinvention of a timeless classic. This is the inimitable and seriously purposeful Morgan Plus 4. So, thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please feel free to click the little like button and doing so, it will tell YouTube to recommend it to more people. And comments are always welcomed. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. And if you hit this little notification bell, I'll send you another video. <laughs>